Straight to news that's just coming in, the government has released its borrowing calendar for the upcoming financial year. The gross borrowing target was, has been fixed at just under 6 lakh crore rupees. The net borrowing is at just over 4 lakh crore rupees. And as expected, the centre will front load much of the borrowing in the first half of the financial year when it's expected to borrow nearly 3.7 lakh crore rupees. The group has decided that uh, of the total gross borrowing, 64%, that is 3.72 lakh crores. I repeat, I repeat, 3.72 lakh crores, which is 3 lakh 72,000 crores, will be the gross borrowing in the first half. Sapna Das is here with more details. Sapna, no surprises at first glance. Take us through all the major highlights. Well, two major key, uh, key takeaways, basically, uh, as the Secretary of uh, Economic Affairs, Mr. Shakti Kanda Das, has very clearly pointed out, uh, the H1 borrowing has been kept at slightly higher, at 64% of the total gross borrowing, which is, uh, you know, uh, which is basically budgeted at uh, five lakh eighty thousand odd crores for the entire financial. So, 3.72 lakh crores of this translates into 64%, uh, and that's the number that they're looking at, mainly on two accounts. This has been slightly higher than the uh, average trend of around 58 to 60 odd percent that the government has been doing every year. This time it's slightly higher because of A, higher redemptions and B, also, uh, keep it, please keep in mind that the budget uh, expenditure cycle uh, after the uh, passage of the budget will start uh, from April onwards because, you know, the budget has had been pre to A, uh, February 1 and the entire objective behind it was basically that the expenditure cycle should kick start early into the financial year. So there will be requirement of funds in terms of expenditure from the side of the government, one, and second, Second, uh, the 1.57 lakh crores is the redemption or rather the repayments that the government has budgeted in terms of its borrowings for the full fiscal. 90% of that is going to be done in the first half of the calendar, which is basically between April to September. These are the two main reasons why the uh, H1 gross borrowing has been fixed at a slightly higher level. This, this is the key takeaway as far as the borrowing numbers for FI18 are concerned. And uh, there will be a lot of other details which will be shortly coming in the RBI press release. The budget uh, division is going to put out the press release if they haven't done so. All the other details in terms of auctions, number of auctions, average size of the auctions, uh, the maturity profile, uh, you know, of, 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 of the bills, uh, what are they doing in terms of the net borrowings through the T-bills, all of that is part of that. All right, Sapna.